what is going on everybody how are you guys doing and uh welcome back guys we are uh, we're back in destiny 2 again tonight this is the final day um of iron banner the weekly reset is gonna be in what the next like 12 hours or so um and so in order to complete our bounty the uh not the bounty the triumph in order to complete the triumph we've been working on this triumph all week long it is, let me look at it here again, the Silomar's design on three separate characters complete every Iron Banner bounty within a single event. Um, this has been very difficult the past few seasons, but this uh, this week, it actually wasn't all that bad to do because of the just massive uh, ability spam. So tonight is literally the final night to do it, and the only bounties I have left are these guys right here now looking at the bounties of course um the ability one is still the lowest one but these other five are going to get knocked out in no time at all which one's this defeat with final blows all oh, energy okay okay all right so we're basically gonna have to work on these two right here basically getting kills with energy weapons power weapons and um getting ability kills as well um, i ended up lowering my power level you do get a little bit more percentage doing that it is a little more difficult to get obviously the kills but yeah, I think it's gonna work. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to lower your power level. You probably need half as many kills in order to uh, in order to get it done that way. So that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. Anybody is more than welcome to join up. Um, probably gonna hopefully hopefully get these. If we get all the bounties done. Um, before the end of stream that I'm probably going to jump into like the Verdant Forest and just try to knock out some of the weekly bounties there. Uh, we might even do some of the Reckoning. Uh, I ended up getting on late last night. I didn't stream, but I did actually run uh, a few Tier 3 Reckonings with uh, Tofi, Hooded, and Joe. And there is, again, if you need, there's a specific Triumph to basically cross the bridge in Tier 3 without using any supers this would be the week to do it um basically four hunters you basically go invisible across the entire bridge it's really really easy we got it done very first try um yeah, everybody's going invisible the enemies don't even know you're there so it's really really easy to cross the bridge and then um yeah get that triumph done that and if you're trying to get anything done shattered throne wise again this next week is going to be a really good week to get it done because of just the the ability spam in general um, is making a lot of these kind of more difficult triumphs to get done. So other than that, we'll get some early shout outs here to Julio, Lance, Spooky Boy, Reed, and Heath. How's everybody doing tonight? And I forgot to turn the latency down. So there is going to be uh, there is going to be there is going to be a latency tonight. It's probably going to be like 10 to 15 seconds. I don't think I can adjust it once the stream has started. No, I can't. I can't. My fault. My fault. You haven't done Shadow Throne yet, Reed? It is, uh... Well, I don't know. I, I was talking to Joe about it the other day. He doesn't... I, I think I was wrong when I said that the Shadow Throne has the highest, um loot drop like as far as like your levels your power level stuff goes it might not anymore but it does still drop really good stuff it used to drop like 15 levels higher it was insane you got your titan you got to do tier three with yeah if you guys look if you go through this is crazy right if you look i was <laughs> people don't pay attention to their collections but uh I mean, I knew it was going to be bad. I knew it was going to be bad. But you go into your collections. You go into armor. You go into gambit. Yeah. There is a ton of armor in gambit. This is one character. This is just the warlock. The same thing is on the, uh, the titan and the hunter. Now, getting all of that gear, I, it doesn't go towards anything, really, besides your collections page. But still, that's a lot. 
to uh yeah to i bet toby got all the weapons though yeah him joe i think joe's been trying to grind out for i want i want to say the pulse rifle i might be wrong though i might be wrong but joe wants joe wants some weapon that's in the tier three i don't know what it was but he does he wants something in there now I don't I don't know if it's true I didn't look into it but they were talking about it last night. It, it, you have better chances to drop weapons when you don't pop the uh, the sense to get the get the gear. I don't know how true that is. I don't know what the like percentage differences is. I didn't I didn't I didn't look into it too much. But me. I'd rather, I honestly, I don't know why. Like, I know the weapons are obviously better. You want better rolls on the weapons. But as rare as they are, because trust me, they are rare. Glad does, like, 12-hour live streams where he does nothing but tier 3s. And the amount of weapons that these guys get in 12 hours is really slim. The 21 yeah i hear the 21 is uh i hear it's really good so we're gonna be doing okay so in case you guys are wondering what the unlimited arc souls is so basically um when you have there's an, an exotic pair of gauntlets the getaway artist and by having the getaway artist on, instead of tossing your grenade, you hold down your grenade. And as you can see, right? You see the little arc buddy? Yeah. The arc buddy lasts for 20 seconds. Now, obviously, with the amount of abilities we have going on, I mean, as you can see, you can just keep popping it and keep getting it. But if you want to extend it, you can then pop a rift and get it even longer and like I said I, I didn't even put a bullet into him and I just got the kill <laughs> so you basically just run around with these things over top of you the whole time and not only is it a really good way to get ability kills but it's just a good way to cause uh, damage the only thing that kind of sucks is everybody knows that this exists and they try to avoid you at all cost. But it's really good for like close range um, when you're going into like melee people because not only do you get the melee, but you get the arc buddies just completely surround them. And yet yeah, you basically kill them in one hit. So you had to buy a cheap plug in controller to be able to play, and unfortunately, you can tell it's cheap. <laughs> Yeah, um, I remember, like, uh, seeing a while back, uh, there was these, uh, I think they're called, like, Afterglow controllers, and they're, they're, they're plug-in PlayStation 4 controllers, but they, like, light up in all sorts of cool colors, but they're, like, half the price of regular PlayStation controllers. You almost got your dredge and title, having problems with the team wipe. Oh, I need to see this guy. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention. With the team wipe triumph part. I'm trying to think which, I'm trying to think what that one was. Oh, uh, if people hate, people really do hate the warlock jump. It is, uh, I, I love it, but, uh, that's because I've, I've played on a Warlock since D1. Like, since the, uh... Since the start of D1, I've been on a Warlock. So the jump has always just been really just... It's come natural. Where the Hunter jump is like, I'm all over the place with that thing. Alright, let me, uh... I'm really trying to focus on getting the, uh... The ability kills here, which is obviously, it gives me some issues. Because, you know, you're sitting here trying to get ability kills and not... Not, uh, not energy kills. So. I 
I'm trying to like one of the biggest issues I'm running into is uh I'm trying not to put the final bullet in with my weapon. I'm trying to let those arc souls kill him, but I think I might just have to uh rely on the arc souls for some of that close range stuff. Maybe go in, yeah, so you go in for like the uh, the melees and let the arc souls take over from there. Where is Oh, he's sniping back there. I'm about to, uh... Oh, whew, it's a good thing I didn't pop my super. I was about to pop my super just to take these two guys out. You're used to Titan jumps. Well, the Warlock won't be too bad, I think, to get used to. Yeah, see, I'm trying to... Oh, nice. I wasn't... I did not realize he had a war cliff. I hate wasting my super. These guys actually caught up to us. That's not good. Alright, I'm gonna go to... try to get C here. It's crazy what 10 power levels does, but... I think it's so much easier to get the uh, get the percentage up when you're uh, when you're underpowered. Oh, hunter going invisible, shooting a rocket at me! Who would have thought? Who would have thought it? Go for B. It's that it's an invisible hunter. Where's he at? They have to be final blow kills too. That's the other thing that kind of sucks a little bit. Especially when somebody's like low health. No, I didn't. I didn't read. What was the, uh, was it like a stream highlights video or? This guy's sniping over here, I don't think. Oh, hold on. He just came out of nowhere. Gotta be really careful with all of the uh, suppressor grenades. Oh, see, see the arc soul. The arc soul got him there, but it didn't count. You know what? Here, I'm gonna let this. How many arc souls does it take? Oh, nope, nope. Where are you going? Oh, what the heck? Oh, I was really trying to get the Arc Soul to kill him. But nope. Yeah. Yeah, it's um it's hard in general to switch between characters. Like this has been a really rough week in Iron Banner for me because I've been playing under all three. I normally don't. I normally stick with like one character for Iron Banner. And it takes me, you know, by the time you get used to it after a few days um you know, then you're like the way we've been uh, the way I've been doing Iron Banner this week is basically two days each character. And it's just, it's it's been rough, especially trying to focus on getting the bounties done and not just like, you know, normally when I play control, it's capturing zones, you know, getting kills, where this one is like, I'm really trying to focus on getting ability kills, getting kills with my energy weapons. 
but trying to utilize the uh, the many different abilities of everybody. Can't even can't even see this hunter. <laughs> Like trying to, just trying to f do something as simple as the, uh, the Titan Smash, you know? Not Titan Smash, the, uh, Shoulder Charge. It's like Titans running around Crucible all day just shoulder charging people left and right. And I'm sitting here like, I can't, just, I can't get it right. That was a horrible match. Point, oh, point nine two. I guess that's not horrible. That's pretty bad. Mainly had to buy the plug-in because the controller I was using has made all but my racing games unplayable. Yes, I have... I mean, I know it's not, like, feasible for everybody, but having a controller dedicated to a certain game, like, or a certain genre, I guess, of game. So, me personally, I... I I run a different controller on racing games than I do on first person shooters. Like first person shooters, I use I use my scuff controller with like extended sticks. Um they're like hair triggers makes it just it's a lot less like stress on your fingers when you just have to like just kind of barely tap. Um you know the uh the extended joysticks make it a little bit easier to uh, control where your weapon's going. And then the paddles make it easier for like jumping and, and crouching and stuff like that. Uh, racing games, I like to have uh, short sticks. And it's, and, it, and it's nice having the scuff paddles if you're shifting. But if you're running like automatic, then you don't really need... Um, you don't need the paddles. And then the hair triggers don't work on racing games. Because racing games you need the, the throttle control. Like you have to be able to adjust how hard or soft you press the gas or press the brake. So for racing games I always use just the regular. Now, now, I, I use my regular controller. The scuff controller just wasn't. It just wasn't working out for me. Streamer loot? Wait, I already had it. I already had those exotics. You can't count those. What's going on, Tofi? Oh, yeah, there's a big delay in stream. I think it's like 15 seconds or something. <laughs> Maybe longer than that. I don't think I... I don't... I don't think it did it whenever you joined up today. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's when you mute and unmute. I think, I don't know. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm just gonna unplug the mic instead. <laughs> okay. Well, I, th I think if you unplug it, it might give you, it might put like a big pop. I don't know. No, no, no. Oh, I don't think that makes a noise. But I'll do it now, see if you hear anything. Okay. Does it make any noise? Just, when, you, when you plugged it back in. Yeah, when you plugged it back in, it made a noise. Because you get that whenever, whenever the um, the three and a, what it three and a half millimeter plug in or whatever, when it's like halfway in, it's like picking up half of the audio. So that's what makes it. That's what makes that noise. Okay, so it's the actual cord and it gets right along with right. Well, how do how how do you have a how is your mute button set up on that cord? It's in the middle. Of, it's in the middle of the whole cord. What is what is? Push up and down. Maybe. Uh, Maybe it's your cord. Like, try j like rotate your cord. Like, does it rotate? Turn. Well, uh, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's what's causing the noise. Maybe it's the uh, the rotating. Who's? No, he's not. He's not in here yet. But now I'll check it for you. Yeah, who's uh I think he took the lead by like an hour last night, but uh or not it wasn't I don't even think it was an hour, I think it was like thirty five minutes. But it was enough to uh enough to register. Oh, 
it to be delayed. Wait, but the whole game. So, we my plan. We try to get a raid to go in. We go in. One guy, we had six, then one guy lost his power. So, we just five minutes to the boss. And we couldn't beat this. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, hopefully, uh. Oh yeah, hopefully everybody gets on tonight and get that done. I forgot, I forgot, I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, these Arc Souls are so nice. I didn't even, I didn't even see this guy come up from the left. <laughs> the Arc Souls took care of for me. Okay. Yeah, what uh, what gun were you guys trying to get last night? The hand cannon. The hand cannon. That's what it was, not the pulse rifle. I've got the pulse rifle. I always get the pulse rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it, but this one's all out. Yeah. It says heavy. Um, I have five left, but they're almost all of them are almost done. Except the only one that is not is the um ability. It's at, it was at like forty percent. I think who's is gonna make me do the same thing that Reed's gonna make me do. I think they both want me to cuss on stream. I've cussed. I've I have cussed on stream before. I don't know why I'm making this. Oh man, <laughs> it sucks. It does suck trying to like I'm trying to like hold off on killing people to so that the arc buddies get it and people coming in there taking the kills. Always pulled to the right. For some reason it doesn't affect me, but it makes me spin in circles. Huh. Have you tried, um, taking, like, compressed air? And, uh, because sometimes you can get dust on the sensors, and that can cause... going on tiger makes the cars handle better <laughs> because the road is like naturally like tilted so i guess if it's like if it's counter like if it's countering it you keep the car straight the whole time He's got two. Two with my super. Supers give the most. Why can't they make like Iron Banner Mayhem? <laughs> just, just. Come on, Bungie. Come on, just troll us. Just troll us some more. It's going on, multi. What do you mean? Is it single-handed 1080? What do you mean? <laughs> Am I doing it? Am I doing it myself? I do set the stream to 1080, but you can dial it down if you want. Oh, get out of my way! My arc buddies need to get a kill. <laughs> oh yeah, the reveal for Borderlands 3 is... Oh no, it's tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's, it's Wednesday. Borderlands 3, uh, the live reveal for all the, all the Twitch people are going to be there. Oh, you. Oh, well, 
Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, they're. Oh, well, I guess it's not a. I guess it's not really a spoiler with Borderlands Three. So, Borderlands. I don't know why. I don't know why everybody teaming up with Twitch. <laughs> so Borderlands and Twitch now have a thing where. Cert, well, I guess it's certain streamers. I'm assuming it's going to be your big streamers. It's not going to be everybody. But if you are watching a Borderlands stream on Twitch, the streamer can activate a loot drop that you will then get in your game. I was like, man. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the gameplay reveal is going to be... Like, it's actual, like, uh, like, Cacus and, and Lupo, like, all your, I'm just gonna name them, all your, you know, Destiny and, and Fortnite streamers all got invited out to play, uh, Borderlands. So it's a full game. Cacus plays Borderlands? Did you not, did you not see his, his 45 minute video? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, he put out a uh, Borderlands. Remember they put out the very first trailer for Borderlands 3? It was like two minutes long. He has a 45 minute video explaining that trailer. Yeah, I mean, I watched it. I watched it because I was like, man, how does, I wonder how he's going to do this. How's he going to, how's he going to stretch it? But it's so funny to read the comment section because it's just everybody was just hating on him like the comment like as you're watching it you just gotta like watch you just gotta uh read the comments because it's just it was really funny just what people were saying like he called like he called like one of the weapons an ar type weapon and just that you see that's you see so many comments just being like does he even know what like an ar looks like and it's just going on and on and on <laughs> But most people were giving him uh, slack because uh, he was talk. He talked a lot about the visuals of the game, like the vehicles and stuff like that. And he didn't really get into the, I guess, the lore of it. I guess most people were uh, expecting more of the lore stuff. <laughs> Not Batman. Yeah, I heard that was the big spoiler with Endgame is that they paired up with DC and <laughs> you got do I Darth Vader? Yeah, Darth Vader showed up. He is the father. <laughs> Oh, nice. I got that grenade kill. Sweet. Sup motto. I've never heard a sup motto. Um, there was another a guy at work. He's been he keeps telling me about a. Uh, let me see if I can. Um, the, see, and now it's like when you search up Borderlands, it's. It, it's it's gonna be rough to try to get uh all of the like OG people that used to do it. Killer Six. Wow, that was easy. He's the first guy. <laughs> I was about to say I'm expecting because I typed in Borderlands Two. I bet if I type in Borderlands Three, it's not gonna give me any of these guys. Um, so Killer Six is who I hear is like the go-to Borderlands guy. It's called Killer Six. He's like he like he's been literally covering like video. He does I don't know if it's like daily or weekly videos on Borderlands Two, and he's been doing it for like three years now. 
like he still puts out content he still finds like a bunch of stuff in the game that nobody knew about <laughs> pick a rick <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy if, like, in, like, a real serious movie, like, a movie that has, like, hardcore fans, like, whether it's Marvel, DC, Star Trek, Star Wars, like, if they threw in, like, a Rick and Morty reference, that'd be bad. I gotta adjust, I gotta adjust my audio. I'm, I'm I keep trying to, like... I'm ha my my game audio is so loud. If chat audio from the party is difficult to hear, move the slider towards party audio. It's like all the way over. <laughs> I keep going. I guess I'll go all the way over. I don't know if that makes it. Jolts. J O L T Z E D. Jolts. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, the game's been out for, for so long. There's so many, like, you know, big, big creators that... But I wonder, like, what do these people do in, like, all this downtime? Like, you have, like, um, like all these people that did, like, Division 1. Like, it, there's so much time in between these games, like... But when you go to their channels, it's like they don't switch it up. Like, like it seems like all the Destiny people, like Imtash, like all these guys have, like when Destiny Two slows down, they go, they they branch out and they go elsewhere and they cover more games. But it's like I see I see some of these like you know these really big YouTubers that they stick in that niche of, you know, um, you know Borderlands. That's it. It's like man, that's that's crazy. Okay. There's and there's four characters on Borderlands Three, right? Yeah. Now, is there a uh, is there is is there a reason to play under multiple uh? Okay. But is it um? Okay, so it's it, so it's it's like Destiny, where when you play under a different character, it's a whole fresh start. Yeah, yeah, it's about, it makes sense, man. Okay, but it's actually more it's it's difficult, right, on your second, and third playthrough on your other characters. Yeah, yeah like they like when you play like the same playthrough, then they make it the enemy more powerful. On uh, playthrough two, in playthrough three, and I think there's one. One of the two there was Bolt Hunter. Okay. Then they made another one in the another DLC called um Overpowered Eight where you can be more powerful. This this Titan has done the Superman smash on me, I think three times now and missed me every time. I 
Yeah, it depends on which, um, if you're the bad guys and you're on, you basically play as the, the Thanos and the, uh, his, his minions. But if you're under the good guys, then yeah, you can play as whoever, depending on which. You basically, like, open up the chest around the game and it gives you a, a different character. But they're all super overpowered. <laughs> Oh, where's a good place to use my super at here? Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. us out. Welcome back, Reed. Oh my gosh, this guy's good with the Arbalist, man. I don't think I've ever gotten killed so much by it. I didn't think he was that good. It's good in PvE, but... No, 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 who's had it? It was, uh, because of the, uh, the long stream on, uh, Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he stayed in, he stayed in for the whole, I think it was like six hours, he stayed in for that stream. <laughs> you have a full week without him? Oh, why you say that? Did he say he was leaving for a week? I might have missed that. That's why he was trying to get his hours up the other day. He knew he was going to be gone. Why you say that, multi? <laughs> Just got out of a Chinese only. Oh, we lost. 
Faust. Try to get one more grenade throw in there. Lost my streak. <laughs> multi fucking multi multicultural. <laughs> Oh, all the winners, gals. Are you scared? It's mythic and is it mythic and then legend? Do we have this conversation like? At least once a week. Yeah. And then Legend is only once, right? And then that's over. Man. Ranks are going up quick. Is that triple XP this weekend is what it was. Yeah, I ended up uh I'm about to re I'm about I'm about to reset three times. Get all these exotics. I'm so glad I finally got the geomags. I don't even know what what those do. Extend chaos. Oh, the chaos reach. That's right. I was like, I know I wanted them for something. I can't remember what it was. In fact, I'll put Luna. We don't even use Luna factions anymore. With the geomags? Oh, okay. So it has the same thing as the, uh... Oh, what is it? The, um... The... The hunter boots with the, uh, little... Spikes on them. Transversive steps? Is that those? Or stompies. Um, or frosties. <laughs> there's a... There's... The frosty? I was... I was about to say, I know there's a set, Hunter has a set of boots where you run around and you get your stuff back. You just reset once, Reed. Yeah, if you reset five times in one season, um, that's how you get the Redrick's Broadsword. I mean, you gotta do the whole quest line up until that point. But the, the reset five times in a season is the hardest part. I know that was nice. So I was saying this would be this perfect week to do that. It's perfect week to do challenges in the Shattered Throne. So you never be able to do it five times in one. It's actually not that hard with because Iron Banner gives you a. Oh man, I was trying to let that Arc Soul kill him, and he got me anyways. Um, because Iron Banner is double during the week and it's triple on the weekends. So ten to Iron Banner comes around. I think what it's three times in a season. So, you technically can just play Iron Banner for those three weeks and you'll get it. You can easily reset twice in one week. These guys are still in my ability kills, man. There we go. <laughs> Just 
standing here like just staring at people. Just staring at him, let my arc buddies kill him. <laughs> just put enough just put enough damage into him so that they can uh can't kill me. Oh yeah, especially if you go on the wind streaks. Yeah. <laughs> well, if 1080 is too much multi, you can turn it down to 720. Anything lower than that doesn't really look good on PC. I think on phones you can get away with like a 480, like watching live streams and it doesn't look too bad. Gambit can be very frustrating. Especially uh, Gambit Prime. Oh yeah, I got that grenade kill, sweet. <laughs> and skip grenades. Nah, don't say never. You'll get them. Like, all exotic weapons are a grind, but they're worth it. Not only for your collections, but just because it's a satisfying feeling to get some of those quest lines done. Nothing's like the, uh, Nothing's like the Thorn in D1, though. We had someone in that fan that was off a wall. Came back to the league, I'll leave him Oh, man. We had to be playing cup. There is a lot of sweats. I don't know why Gambit is so sweaty. Like it's 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 not even like there's no Yeah, maybe now it's a little it's calmed down, but I don't know that there's so much competition in Destiny, but I think it's because there's so much stuff tied to getting your rank up. aggressive they'll be versus the xbox you imagine if we could cross platform with playstation 5 and the next xbox there's no reason we can't there's no there's absolutely no reason they can't do it do what Just about to pop that super, but I heard a tether go off. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to get, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of the guys I'm always playing with, he always makes fun of the, uh, the hunters that are always, or uh, hunters, titans are always sliding around trying to get the uh, slide shot with the shotgun and failing at it. Just 
said Sony shot it down. That's what everybody thought until Fortnite did it. I mean, it exists. I think, uh, I think Sony is realizing the potential with cross-platform. They have nothing to lose. I think they did a, uh, I saw, I can't remember, I can't remember the exact number, but, so Mortal Kombat 11 came out this past weekend, or the weekend before, and I, I, I think it was like 80% of all copies were sold on the PlayStation 4. That's a lot. Yeah, I think if I think if Sony if Sony just said, you know what, let's do it. Let's do cross platform all systems. Even if they upcharge like you know what I mean? Like even if they charged you a little bit extra on PlayStation Plus, you know? Charge you an extra ten or twenty dollars a year. They could they could do it. People people yeah, people would do it. Hundred percent. I just, I just, I just, I just, do I? My mother friend's online too. Has a checkpoint for the boss that wants to do it as well. He's online just now. Uh uh uh. Yeah, I just don't know what Sony thinks they would lose by making cross-platform. Like, do they think Xbox people would never buy PlayStations? Because, you know what I mean? Like, I wonder if I wonder if they sit. I wonder if that's their thought process. Well, if we let Xbox players come play with us, then that means the Xbox players will never buy PlayStations. But it's like, at this point in time, if you are an Xbox player and you don't have a PlayStation, you're you're probably not, you're not gonna make that switch. Like when the 360 came out, 360 came out before the PlayStation 3. So it made sense for people to get the 360 and not get the PS3. But by the time the Xbox One PS4 came out, I think those I think that's the system. And then PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, like people have made up their minds on what systems they want to play on, what they prefer. I am curious though. I know we got Reed Heath. You guys are Xbox players. Do you? Do you? Oh, I know Reed doesn't have the the uh, PlayStation. He's always been an he's an X, always been an Xbox player, right? But Heath, what what is the? Because the only person I've ever known that has been like hundred percent Xbox all the way never gonna make a switch is joe and then he made the switch and he's never gone back but it, so it makes me wonder why like what keeps people on the xbox
Oh, thank God somebody killed that guy for me. <laughs> oh, that was a... Yeah, that... Wow, that guy's making fun of me. I literally popped a rift as this guy's just running at me with a shotgun. <laughs> Um, it probably won't let you share a link, no, Lance. Oh, of course it's not going to let me pop this grenade. I wish I knew why I did this. There we go. They say they feel the same. Friends and reputation. I think friends is a big thing. I think that's why people stick with their consoles. Is that if all their friends play on a console, then that's what they play on. I remember my boss was. Do I? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it, it, you know, being a kid, it's kind of up to your, up to your parents. Like I, I remember my boss at work was asking me, you know, he's, he's wanting to get his son, like, you know, hey, should I get PlayStation? Should I get Xbox? And, you know, I should have told him, you know, PlayStation. I'm like, no. Nah, where does your son's? What did his friends play on? Because that's what that what matters. Yeah, I keep messing my these grenades up. I'm not throwing them high enough. PlayStation first, moved to Xbox because of the games, and just never went back. See, and I think, I think right now, PlayStation holds better exclusives. God of War, Uncharted. I mean, God of War and Uncharted alone are amazing. The layout of the controller. Yep, that's a big that's a big one right there. The staggered joysticks. The only way to make your PlayStation controller have the staggered joysticks is to buy the uh, the Astro controller for PlayStation. And it's like at least three hundred dollars. I can't, I can't do the staggered. I'm never, yeah, it's we it's such a weird feeling for me. What about the menu? What about the Xbox menu? That's one thing I can never get. Like, I can't do the menu. Uh, you can use PS4 controllers on the Xbox. You just have to have a, uh, it's called a Kronos Max. They're like probably 30, 40 dollars. And you basically uh, plug it into the front. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that grenade. You plug it into your Xbox. Um, and then you plug your Xbox controller into it. You power on the Xbox controller. 
and that basically programs the USB. It, it, it tells the Xbox that an Xbox controller is plugged into it, and then you hook your PlayStation controller up to it, and it works just fine. So you kind of have to trick the... You, 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 it's a special USB drive, but you basically trick the Xbox into thinking that there's an Xbox controller plugged in when there's really not. I'm gonna pop my super here before we end up winning this. <laughs> Oh, that's a golden gun. Oh, wow. He just wasted all of those. You can now play Steam games on the Xbox. Oh, really? That's really cool. Xbox One game with gold, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do, uh, Xbox One Gold does have some pretty good options. PlayStation doesn't. <laughs> but like the menu in PlayStation, right? You hit your PlayStation button. All your games are right here. These are all your games. They're in one long row. Your store is way off to the side. Xbox, it's like, no matter what you do, the store's there. <laughs> it's like, it wants you to buy stuff. But these are all your games. Or I guess applications, right? Because you have your library and your st oh, everything like that. Capture gallery. And then you press up. And this is all your back-end stuff. Your party, your messages, your friends, notifications... Your profile, like all your settings basically are up top and all your games are down here. It's just two rows. Oh, oh nope, cancel. Wait, well, I have to click close. <laughs> Wrong game. Every time I log into the Xbox, I get lost. People are like, oh, send me party invite. Um, how you do that? <laughs> Where's that at? How do I invite people? Where's messages at? I can't say how many times I've logged into the Xbox and can't even find my games. Like I click on the wrong, like air, it takes me somewhere and I can't, I can't find my games that I own. Like if I were to delete a game off of Xbox, I would have no clue where the download library is. Where in PlayStation, it's at the very end of your games. You scroll all the way over to the end, and your very last game is the library. And that's everything that you've ever purchased, whether it's on the console or not. <laughs> Indie games are getting more and more popular. Mobile games are too. I uh, I saw a thing the other day where it was talking about like, especially like over in Japan, like mobile games are bigger than like console games. I've been wanting to play, uh, oh. oh, what's it called now? It's, it's, it's like DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, but it's for your PlayStation. Um, you be, uh, Saber, something Saber, lightsaber. You basically, it's a VR game, but you have lightsabers, like Star Wars. And you 
the music is is coming at you on screen and you're hitting it with your lightsaber it's, it's an awesome it's an awesome game it looks really really cool i've why I, I got like sucked into a bunch of videos this past weekend watching people like break records it's like guitar hero basically like people are insane but it's for they have it for playstation vr and they have it for uh the vr for your pc beat saber is what it's called yeah you just look up videos of people people playing beat saber <laughs> yeah i need to hook my playstation 3 up me and hooded are gonna do a, a we're gonna do, we're gonna play fortnite one night on the playstation 3 Do it. Oh. I don't know if you were in Party of the Day. I was doing the, the strike. Um, I think it's the corrupted strike where you have to throw the balls at each other. Yeah, they just kept throwing them at the boss. <laughs> it's like, no, it takes forever to do it that way. Yeah. Yeah, VR games are fun on the PlayStation. Um, they're not the best graphics, but I think that's just VR in general. I think it's not. I think maybe we'll see a big improvement because they said the PlayStation 5 is actually going to use the VR that we are using on the PS4. They're not going to, uh, they're not going to make a new VR set. Oh, oh wow, we're getting tore up here. Oh, and reads back at top. Is the connect, but it's as the Wii remote. <laughs> yeah, and the VR, the PlayStation VR, even though it's just the one camera, I mean it's a pretty big camera. Um, like it's it's really long. You still have to have a lot of like uh, you can't have any um. um I think no uh, no obstacles no obstacles you have to have like a really like open setup How did I just get, I just got killed by architects. There was nobody even in the room. Hmm. There was something arc flying at me. I don't know what that was from. NSA is logging my KD. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a bad idea to pop that. Oh, oh what's going on, who's? <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we, they were calling it anyways. Oh, I can't believe I popped my super there. I had no health. Alright, we're 
about to reset. That's fucking the moment. The moment Reed passes, he shows up. He's like, I'm back. The battle is back. Speaking, speaking of the battle, I wonder what the uh, what T series was up by like what two million yesterday. But I know, uh, I know PewDiePie said he he was stopping. He was stopping the sub to sub to PewDiePie meme. He said no more. Let me mute that. Uh, T series is one point three million ahead. But it's 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 funny because now all of a sudden people are saying that because technically T Series is a music company. Well, technically, there is already a YouTube channel called Music with a hundred and five million subscribers. So they said, even if T Series hits a hundred million first, that they're not going to. It it's not really gonna be the first to 100 million because it's just another music company that's that's up there <laughs> is Tofi, Tofi winning? Tofi win? oh you lost too, oh man yep and I cannot find like LT Gaming has been in chat but I cannot find him in the glitter bot like like, I'm searching, searching, searching. The only thing I can find that's close to LT is there's one that's like LT10. But I think he said that's not him. LT10 Gaming. That has to be him. No, this is Minutes Watch, only 10. Yeah, cause he he's, he he's been he's he's been in stream. It's just I can't find him. Cause I have his minutes written down. I found his minutes from the uh, from the last from the last glitter bot I had. But oh, let me see what we got for bounties here. I think we're like closing in on the last. The last two abilities and energies are both at 67%. So as long as my power doesn't go out, my internet doesn't go out, <laughs> I will have these done in the next hour. And then that triumph better pop up. Oh, I do. I gotta get it done anyways, cause the I gotta get it done quick because of the um. We're gonna do that raid when everybody gets on. Ooh. I'm not even gonna capture zones. I'm just gonna go for these guys. <laughs> just gonna see where they're at and head that way. Raiding's always fun, man. I definitely want to get this this raid done. Oh, 
keep getting like after death kills here. It sucks the uh, the Arc Souls don't keep like firing for a minute after you die. Like it seems like if there's any in the air, then that's it. They're they disappear. Later, Heath. Okay. No. He got me, got me, got me, got me. All right, Valor reset available. Three ranks. I think we've gone up at least two this week alone. What's going on, Wyatt? I am. Let me look. Let me look. I got to go back to orbit, anyways. I was at sixty-seven percent on both energy weapons and ability kills. But that was a short match. So I probably am close to 60. <laughs> probably right at 67. Um, 70. Wow. All right. Wow. Okay, being underpowered is a lot more than I thought. When I was on my Titan, I was I put on like all my high gear, and I was only going up like three percent a match. I went up 10% that match. I did pop one super though. I did get three kills. Three kills. I think I might have got two. I think I got a melee kill. That's a lot. 10% is a lot. 71% on regular kills. So that's it. That's all I need. Let me reset my rank here for the third time. I think we'll get all five resets. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'm trying to get it done within the next... Well, I got about two hours left on stream. Um, but if everybody gets online, we're going to be running the raid. So I kind of want to get it done within like the next hour. So yeah, I've reset my rank three times this season. And... Honestly, the Iron Banner is going to be rolling back around here next month before the uh before the end of the season i should have no problem resetting it two more times spo 26 might have to try this out it's not the Not the greatest. Yeah, range. I need really more stability. That's decent. Yeah, it's not really the best. I might have to try it out. Yeah, five resets for Redrix. Now, I'm pretty sure the Triumph is the same as... Um, the same as the Lunas, where as long as you hit... 
the final, uh, like it keeps track of all the stages, whether or not you're at that stage or not. I don't know if that's the way this is going to work or not. Like with the Lunas, as long as you hit the 2100, whether you're at that part of the, uh, the, um, the bounty or not, it still counts it when you get there. I don't know if that's the same for the Redricks because I'm technically not there yet. I am dreading going in and doing the Rumble matches. I am not a huge fan of Rumble, and I have to get the 25, so you said it is the same? All right. I think to be safe, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and finish the quest step and get to that part. I don't want to chance it. You know, I don't want to reset it five times and then next season get up to that part and it tells me I got to do it again. That would not be fun. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it this season. And then I think next, so by the, by the end of this season, obviously I'll have, I should have the Redricks, the Lunas and the Recluse. And then I think next season, I think I want to go for the mountaintop. At least try it out. It'd probably take me the whole season to get it. Because multi-kills with grenade launchers are, uh... Or is it kills in rapid succession? Maybe it's not multi-kills. It goes off the triumph? Okay. I'm so glad they added in the triumphs, too. The good thing about having the triumphs attached to the pinnacle weapons is you can do it across all three characters at the same time. I think that was a great system. Yeah, double, double and triple XP during Iron Banner. I know people hate Iron Banner, but <laughs> it, it is an amazing week to get stuff done. Yeah, the mountaintop is here. Let me look. Let me, let me, yeah, let me show you. I don't use grenade launchers too much, so that's probably the complete lack of, uh, Suit of Honor, yeah. Yeah, the rapidly defeated one. Wait, and medals earned? Calculated trajectory medals. Yeah. I don't like I said, I don't use grenade launchers that much, but I think even if I were to really start using them all the time, it's gonna be a pain. Definitely gonna have to use uh which one? Which I oh, which one was I gonna use? Fighting Lion, there we go. I think that's what I'm end up having to use. A good ring or ring mall. I think I might end up um, burning through like all my Iron Banner tokens. I have a lot, I think. I've been buying a lot of the gear, so. Let me look, see how many I have here. There's a horrible map anyways. Oh no, 750. I'm definitely going to blow through some Crucible tokens. I have, uh, what, there's 2,500 there? I probably have another, like, seven or 8,000 in my vault. Might make a video on that one. For whatever reason... I just got guitar out of a crucible match. Out of a crucible match. That's not supposed to happen in crucible. It's a good thing we're not doing comp. Um, 
was that saying? I already lost what I was saying. Oh, for whatever reason, like, people loved, absolutely loved the video I did where I opened up, like, a thousand Leviathan tokens. So what, ha what would happen if I opened up, like, 7,000 <laughs> Crucible tokens? <laughs> yeah, I probably, let me look, I probably have gotten them. I've probably gotten them and then dismantled them. Oh no, I got one right here. Oh no, that's Swarm of the Raven. For when you unlock the Redrick so you can get a better rolled one. Ah, alright, thank you, Wyatt. Alright. Yeah, I was I was I was contemplating when I should open them. I was either I was like, well, I'll either wait until next season to try to boost my power level up a little bit just to kind of see what new weapons are coming out and stuff like that. Yeah, I have a few of the Swarm of the Ravens. But yeah, that's a good idea to uh, wait until I get the Redrix. Because like I said, I have a lot. Oh yeah, let me look how many exactly I have here. So I have what, 2,500 on my guy here. And then let's see, one, two. Oh no, 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 another. Oh no, only another uh, 1,500. It was weapon parts. That's what it was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10,000 10, 10,600 weapon parts <laughs> 10,600 weapon parts What's up Joe? I got 10,600 weapon parts Is that too many? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna turn him in. I'm gonna turn him in for a video. I'll do that. I'll, I'll do crucible tokens one, two. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna wait to like uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to do the crucible one to until I get the red tricks. One, two, three. Yeah, I got about four thousand crucible tokens. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be a. I'm gonna have to fast forward that video. No, no, no. So maybe the weapon parts. I'll wait till next season, just to see what kind of weapons get dropped. He's uh, eating food. If you practice sniping, yeah, I I used to, I used to snipe in Destiny One. Um, but I haven't really uh, haven't really done it too much in, in D two. I've, I've I've resorted to like the hand cannon and a uh, scout rifle. And the only reason I'm not using my scout rifle now is just it's easier to or not easier but um you get much more uh percentage by using energy weapons over primary oh, i didn't mean to throw that grenade yeah i'm at a uh, like I'm almost done. Probably like two more matches and they'll be done. Do what? Oh, I know, I know. I was trying to uh, 
pop my Arc Souls, though. Um, yes. Set a god roll Aaron till. Alright. That's so that's what I'll do. I'll uh I'll turn in my eleven thousand weapon parts for that. <laughs> I'll get him. I'll get him back. That much? Remember, I this this I I created this account in Forsaken. This isn't even my year one account. You got more parts than me. <laughs> I don't spend anything. I didn't spend anything in D one either. I keep it all. It is. Yeah, I don't, I don't gotta burn anything, cause, watch that, I'll, uh, I'll start using the, I'll start burning my weapon parts and I'll get exactly what I want. <laughs> I'll be like, oh look, there we go, look at that roll. All done. No need to, no need to go any further. This guy out here. Big distance because it takes those couple seconds you have to take to ready your gun. You get yeah, I probably I try to play more. I used to play really passive. I try to pl I try to play more aggressive. First step, First step shotgun. Now I I play aggressive with my uh with my hand cannon. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, that way if I run into a room and I oh, there's people here, let me uh, go invisible. Let me turn around and go back. I made a mistake. There is no you got you can't you don't got those uh second lives with the warlock Joe. You jump into a room, you're there. No, the rift has uh, such a long animation. It sucks. Kept sliding from the top at the same time. Oh, 
Soldier. É, sim. Soldier é só um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, everything that but yeah yeah see when Bungie changes stuff for me it's like oh, what an amazing Nova buddy no still got me still got me never mind <laughs> spoke too soon um yeah like I know people are uh like when I even bring up like getting the Lunas people talk about it getting nerfed and I'm like but I still, I'm, st I still want it. Like I, was, I'm still, I still want it. I still want to try it out. Like, you know, it might not be a, uh, it might not be as good. Well, I mean, I'm sure I know it's not going to be as good as it is now. But for me, if I like the way a gun feels, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna use it. Like this, like this is by far my favorite weapon to use in Crucible. And it has a perk on it called Genesis. <laughs> I mean, it's the Gambit one, right? This is, this perk is not, this perk is not designed for PVP. But to me, this thing is amazing. And I love it. It's probably because it's the 180. I, I, love, the, I love the 180 archetypes. I think that's going to be my only thing that I'm not going to like about the, the new Lunas. Is that they're taking away that 180. Yeah, they're boots right now, but in case they fix them. me sarcastic oh well because he threw the nova at the wall <laughs> he threw it like i don't know where he was going after like he 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 was going into the wall as he threw the nova the white sidearm you get at the game rex in pvp you know what else rex in pvp for a weapon that you get at the beginning of the game. Oh. This guy. The pariah. This thing wrecks. What other hand? Let me see what other hand cannons I, I like to use. I don't like the better devils. It's a 140. Dire Promise. Ooh, Dire Promise is a 150. I like the Dire Promise. Well, that's good, because I think... Uh, I'm pretty sure Luna's is going to 150. What's Service Revolver? Oh, that's a 180. So I actually probably like that. I don't like the Duke. 110s are not my thing. We've done we've done challenges with the pariah. Anytime people want me to do a uh, a white weapon challenge, that's 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 the gun I choose. Try out that last perdition. Here, let me let me lock it. I'll try it out later. Once I get my bounties done. 
Actually, you know what? No, let's try it out now. And for me, a good sniper really comes down to um, the, the, the scope. I need, a, I need a short scope. I hate how long it takes to zoom in on some of the longer scopes. I'm definitely firmly planted. I'll never use. And for the mass majority that don't have it, complain and Bungie takes your opinion. Yes. No. I know exactly what you mean. I think, and I don't even have it. And I don't even have any intentions of getting it. Um, because I know how hard it's going to be to get. I, under no circumstance, think that a pinnacle weapon of that caliber, like, the amount of time and energy and just pure frustration you go through to get that weapon, like, that weapon is literally a top, maybe what, top 3% of Destiny players, maybe top 1% of Destiny players have that weapon. It should be the most powerful weapon in the game. You should be able to take that weapon and just wreck people with it. Because how often are you going to run into it? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Like when I, if I go into a crucible match and I see somebody and I see somebody with the not forgotten that person doesn't need a good gun to destroy everybody right they've already destroyed everybody without that gun So yeah, I don't. I just. I don't think they. I don't think that gun should be taken away. All right, the range on this is really nice. Getting those weapons, so they result to complaining. I mean, if you're going to complain about a weapon, complain about how hard it is to get. And that should motivate you to go out and get it. Don't complain about the people that have it. I'm going to walk right in front of this guy in his uh, sniper, sniper lane here. It hits really hard. It hits really hard. Skip grenades. You'd slightly tweak it, not destroy it. Oh, I don't think it should be touched. I don't think it should be touched. Like I said, I I think if you are if you're in the top one percent, I think it's top. I'd say top one percent. If you were in the top one percent of Destiny PvP players and you earn a weapon, that should be the most powerful weapon in the game for PvP. <laughs> Hunter supers, they can all be nerfed into the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I was about to pop my super too. No, I'm joking. I'm, 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 uh, I, I've been thinking about slightly, I don't want to say maining a hunter in Crucible, but maybe kind of touching, touching it in Crucible a little. Maybe I'll, maybe, yeah. Maybe I'll use it, maybe I'll use it in Crucible a little bit.
did. It's a little like a three tap there, isn't it? Land final blows on seven opponents without taking damage from any of them. That's a nice little triumph to pop up there. You said, you said, <laughs> you said that's an aggressive player. <laughs> I know, I went in there and just destroyed everybody. Played all aggressive and such. Touch. Yeah, I think that's what's always been amazing about the PvP side of Destiny is there's always something to grind for. I feel like the PvE side of things, like you can get the uh, you know you can get the raid done with a group of people within you know the first few weeks, not a problem. You can grind out strikes solo to get the weapons. Like everything PVE is to me just a grind. But a, a like a casual grind. Like you don't have to be a, a sweaty player at all in PVE to get stuff done. Yeah. But like you're not forgotten, like that's just, that's not a weapon that everybody can get. Like it doesn't matter how hard you try, you, if you're not, if you're not good enough to get it, you're not going to get it. It doesn't, I mean, or not how hard you try, but no matter how, no matter, yeah, no matter how many hours you put in t to getting that weapon. Okay, this guy and his recluse, man. <laughs> I think uh, I think games have uh, always had an issue um, listening to the uh, listening to the the small group of loud voices instead of the the big group per perfect example <laughs> I mean it's not not destiny but a perfect example is um you know f uh, Fortnite made a bunch of changes to their game in a, a recent update and it made a lot of people mad. It kind of split. It kind of split the community. Not 50-50, like 80-20, right? 80% 80 of people don't like it. 20% of people do. And the World Cup was... The World Cup was yesterday? Or the day before? And the two... The, the duos that won the World Cup or at least they won that the the semifinals, right? Now they're going into the World Cup. They did an interview. Um, and this is this is like this is live in front of like, you know, thousands and thousands of people, not to mention everybody that's in this arena. And so they they won it. And when the people came up and they were doing the interview on stage and asked them, you know, how they felt about, you know, you guys just won. 
what's your plans you know for next season of fortnite oh yeah so that must have been the winners of fortnite okay because they did they did ask what their plans for next season of fortnite is both of, or the first guy said he's like well he's like I, i'm probably not going to play fortnite next season he's like i just don't like the i don't like the direction of the game and he, the guy that's doing the announcement you see him just like he's he's trying to cut he's trying to cut the audio um and he they they you know he gets the, the kid just is like i just don't like the direction of the game i'm gonna you know i'm probably gonna be playing something else like appreciate the opportunity but th this is this is probably gonna be it for me and the guy was like well that's not the answer i was looking for he's like well how about he then he turns to his partner and he's like well uh he's like can you give me a better answer and he's like i'm probably gonna play other games next season too <laughs> i was like man oh they did this on like na like like national like this is the fortnite world cup this is like the biggest event that fortnite has done And they won it, and that was their answers. We'll see. It's a little concerning that Bungie has literally fired, like, half of their upper management in the past, like, two weeks, it seems like. It's like every single day I log on to Twitter and it's just somebody from Bungie saying that they're they're leaving, you know, or and it doesn't even say why. It just says like, you know, this is my last day at Bungie. It's been, you know, great, you know, being there. Can't wait for opportunity, you know, and it's just great every single day. And I think like a lot of the rumors that I've heard of why all these like high up devs are leaving is these are all the devs that created Destiny 2. And now that Bungie realizes that Destiny 2 didn't launch the way it was supposed to, I, I think they're getting rid of a lot of these people. You know what I want to hear my head? Hmm. Like about, um, someone wants to make it a better royale thing. Really? It's a, yeah, it's a lot. Really? Yeah, because it's a lot. But if you follow, like, Datto, especially Datto, Datto follows, like, everybody in Bungie, and he always retweets those. So it's like every day I'm getting the retweets from, you know, him about uh, people leaving. Really, yeah. There, there has to be something. There's something. There's something that a lot of these people did that is causing all of them to just get canned pretty quickly. I mean, if they left after, yeah, I guess. Like, yeah. Probably say that too. I heard the raid people left as well. People did the lead raid guy. Yeah, the, re the lead raid guy and the lead crucible guy were like the first two like big people to leave that everybody was like, um... <laughs> This gun's broken. Yeah, kill clip is definitely PvP. Should have Arc Soul the AK guy? Well, I think my Arc Soul ran out. Yeah, it did. I don't have the boost on anymore. Well, I did the melee. Melee counts as an ability kill. I 
I wonder why when I go to use this boost, it doesn't work in match anymore. Like, I got to use it like five times. It's probably what that guy was doing. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't work. Oh, there it goes. It only took two times. Sat here one time. I, I died like three times trying to get it to work. Ah, Jade Rabbit. Oh, nice. I got him with something there. Oh, no way. I just hit this guy's thing. That sucks. Pop my super went right through his suppressor grenade. Um, the same two, but they're like they're almost done. Now that I, since I lowered my power level, they're uh they're going up pretty quick now. soul and you just gotta melee people one time the arc soul finishes them off what if the blueberries arc soul kill, kills as well does that help you you know they, they get the, the same arc soul do you get credit for that <laughs> I don't know <laughs> someone left us Let me go this way. All right. No. <laughs> All the suppressor grenades, man. Destroy my supers. Oh wow, 2%, 7%. 
I need to help you, buddy. I mean, he's old, there. How far more is that? He's waiting for me. We passed him. Got him back in points. Oh man, I'm trying to get the melee on this guy. Okay. Now I'm not doing so good. <laughs> I was start I started out pretty good. Now we dropping. Now we're dropping. I want to back up there again. We saved you, brother. We saved you. <laughs> oh, Nova Warp. Well, well, well. What's going on, Dev? the shotguns <laughs> I can't get away from the shotguns in this all of a sudden watching it again huh yeah guy at work was telling me uh he said he had he went and watched it twice and I was like really I said it's that good and he's like he's like it is he's like but I honestly didn't have a choice like, I didn't have a choice to watch it the second time so apparently He's going to watch it first time, and about he's been, he said there's about an hour left, and his uh oh wow my shots are everywhere here, so there's about an hour left in the movie, and his son says that he has to use the restroom, so he's like all right and his son's like probably like ten years old, so he uh you know he's like we. Well, you want me to go with you, or you got it? He's like, no, it's fine. It's like literally right outside the the door. So like ten minutes go by, his son doesn't come back. All right, all good, Wyatt. Take it easy, man. Thank you for the uh, some of the tips, man. I'll have to uh, I'll have to play with this pulse trap a little more. So like ten minutes go by, his son doesn't come back. So he's like, well. He should be back by now. So he, he gets up, goes into the bathroom. Son's not there. So he's freaking out now. Going to other bathroom. It's a bit it's a big it's a big movie theater. So he's going around everywhere. He's trying to find his son. Forty five minutes later. There's son to, there's son comes. Walking out of another movie theater. And he uh you know, he's he's, he's 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 relieved, obviously, that he's 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 you know okay. And he he's you know what's going on? Are you okay? Like you know, I, I've been looking for you for an hour now. And he's like, yeah, I, you know, I, I went to the restroom and I came out and I forgot what movie theater we were in. So I just went in this one because I didn't want to miss any more of the movie. <laughs> and here his dad is. Missing the entire movie, or missing the last hour of the movie, trying to find his son, <laughs> and he couldn't find him because his son just went into another movie because he didn't want to miss anything. 
<laughs> so neither to say he, uh, he ended up having to go back the next day and and watch it. I'm trying to convince my wife to go this weekend. I told her today. I said, "Hey, I said, uh, I said when you get off Friday, I said we're gonna we're gonna go to the movies." And she's like, "Oh, what movie are we gonna go see?" I said, "We're gonna go watch Endgame." She's like, "Well, she's like, I I got a long day Friday. She's like, I really don't want to go to the movies for three hours. She's like, we'll go for like an hour and a half, like if there's a normal movie, but I really don't want to sit there for three hours." <laughs> And watch the movie. She's like, plus, I haven't even seen Infinity War yet. I said, oh, not a big deal. Not a big deal. I have Infinity War. I bought it. <laughs> I already went and bought it. Here. You can watch it. And uh, so a couple hours later, I call her. I call her back. And I was like, hey, I said, uh, I said so I'm, I'm about to order tickets. I said, what time works for you? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "What time works for what?" I said, "I said we're gonna go to the movies Friday." I'm just, I'm, I'm be consistent. I'm be very consistent, persistent, not consistent. I'm be very persistent on her, on trying to get her to go to the movies on, on Friday. Oh yeah, Reed, I will definitely check it out, man. It's yeah, it's on your channel. I'll uh I'll look at it. But yeah, needless to say, trying to uh trying to convince her to go see it. Cause I really I really don't want to go by myself. I really don't. Like I, I know I'm not gonna be alone. Like I know there's go there's gonna be a bunch of probably husbands in there that are there because their wives don't want to go see it. I get that. Um, <laughs> but I just don't. I don't know. I I feel weird. I feel weird. It was different. Like high school. High school. I remember in high school all the time, man. I wanted to go see a movie, you know, you and a bunch of friends go to see a movie. It wasn't a big deal. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, if you if you have to buy V-Bucks, Dev, if you have to. You know, it's it's um it helps. <laughs> Uh, first time. It's my first time. I'll never do it again. I promise. <laughs> you with me, Dev? All right. I should ask Joe. I bet. I bet. I bet Joe's wife don't want to go see it. I should, should ask Joe. We should go to the movies on Friday. Or he works Friday. Maybe Saturday. Maybe Saturday. <laughs> Ooh, I should have tossed that grenade. <laughs> He's like, I don't uh I don't ever I don't ever promote the code. I mean I throw it underneath the face cam on only on days we play Fortnite. I see so many people really push the code, which I mean I guess it is it is I mean I guess if you're going to if you're going to spend V-Bucks, right? If, if you're already going to be spending them, yeah, might as well put the code in, right? And and help out your favorite creator. I've just never been, I think that's always been one of my, my big, I don't know, you're going to know if it's like a, 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 I don't even want to, I don't really want to call it a flaw, but it's probably one of like the, one of the things that I would, I would like to work on. I would like to be able to remind, I've been watching uh, one of the, uh, one of the streamers I watch, he does a lot of like really good, like how-to videos, like just how-to, um, 
uh, how to talk to chat and how to just tips and tricks on just live streaming in general. And one of the things he brings up a lot is don't ever ask people to like and subscribe and, and do all that. But or not not subscribe like YouTube subscribe Twitch like like um cuz he's a Twitch streamer. But he made a good point. He he said don't don't ever ask people to subscribe to you. Don't ever don't ever ask people to spend money to support your channel. But instead acknowledge the people that already do and that's something that I thought it was a really, really good advice. All right, all good, Dev. Take it easy, man. And thank you. Thank you for using the code if you do buy V-Bucks. I want to get... I, like, one of the things I want to do... I want to get some better... Uh, so I want to get some better emotes in chat. That way we... That way you guys can use them. Because I really do. I do appreciate the people that uh that, that sponsor the channel. I wish I could do I wish I could do more. I would get better emotes. I'm gonna get some better ones. Just to show my appreciation. Did he just pop he think he popped a Nova? I think that was a I don't think it counted, but it was like halfway through animation. Lock them out. I'm gonna go pop this super here. Wrong way. Where are they gonna be? I think they're gonna be at A. There's one guy here. I'm not gonna waste it on him. There it is, Arsenal of Tricks. That should have been it. I think that was it. I think we just did it. I think that was the last bounty I needed. Or I might still need energy weapon kills. Check. Let me check. Is that the last one? Oh, 99%. Oh my gosh. Should be one kill, right? It should be one kill. That's it. That should be all we need here. Uh oh. Where they at? Oh my gosh. <laughs> are we not are we not gonna get our last kill? Was that it? Was that it? No, that didn't count. Or that that was a that was a kill, but it wasn't the one I needed. I need two kills. Come on, one more kill, one more kill. Before we finish this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're not going to get it. I'm going to have to literally load up another match just to get my final kill here.
I think I just killed him. No, I didn't. No. All right. I'm going to have to literally load up one more Crucible match. Yeah, I've been I was I'm stuck at 99% on my kills. And I killed one guy and it st it stayed at 99, so that means you must have to kill two. It must be it must be two people. Yeah, I put it get yeah. I was like, yeah, because I'm literally gonna load up this match and just get one kill and then back out. That'll be the final bounty. That'll be the triumph completed. There will be there will never be a need to do all the bounties in one week again. <laughs> so everything's dropping to seven hundred. I don't know what to keep anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I even dropped my power level. Oh, I dropped it too much. Wow. 686. What are you guys doing right now? I'm uh, joining up for some tier twos. Oh, the bus. I'll get some more gear. Oh, Got all my invader gear for I think uh, tier one, two, and three. So now I gotta start working on some other stuff. Tier 1, 2, and 3 are done. I think I got my final piece for Tier 3 last night. Gambit? Um, invader? Oh no, I just have Tier 1 and 2 done. Tier 3, I only got one piece. Oh, interesting. Oh, Bannerfall. Everybody's favorite map. <laughs> oh yeah, Gary's back at home now. He's not in school anymore. No, he, uh, he had to come home. He had to come home. Oh, the shoving to the... Mm. I was just shoving to the... Uh, I don't know more. Is it even got a weapon with me? Looks like I got two weapons. What the... What kind of crap is that? Oh, drop the number than one of them. I bet there's a... It's a bear again. How you liking the prediction? I'm liking it. It doesn't have as much stability as I would like, but it hits pretty hard. Uh, 
how your mind might stay blue. I know this the blue mask at the Hmm. Oh no wait. I think I'll be wrong thing. Yeah, the range of mine. Yeah, mine's range too. Emoted and died. <laughs> he came around the corner and killed me. <laughs> Going back to orbit. Later, everybody. <laughs> They're like, I can't believe this guy just backed out. Kills, just, yeah, just regular kills. Yeah, the ability ones got done pretty quick. Oh, wow. Well, he ran up the shotgun, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if I turn this in... Do what? No. Turn it yeah, he... Yeah, turn it in. The triumph should pop up. There it is. Silomar's design. <laughs> All done. No more Iron Banner for me. Till a couple more weeks. Next time, banners where you're gonna go for the 2500 kills emblem. <laughs> no, I won't do the 2500. I'll do the uh, I'm gonna go for the um, the the resetting the rank. I gotta reset the rank two more times. Plus, I'll go for the underpowered. I'm gonna do it. Alright, so tier two, let me make one of these. Right, tier two? Yeah. Alright, let me look, see what I need. Go to collection, see if I need invader. I think I do need one more. Solar heavyweight. Yeah. We'll do, we'll do. Yeah, and the only thing I'm missing for Invader is my uh, my bond. So hopefully he gives that to me. Yeah, if I give up anytime soon. Oh, yeah. Might just have to wait till next week then to get it done. I guess I should put heavyweight on. No, you gotta ask it. No, you gotta ask heavy on. You gotta ask him. Oh, he's changing it up. The best in dynasty. Wow. It works. You got the good roll. I gotta get me that god roll vest in dynasty too. God roll, you wanna come with one muscle core? <laughs> Oh, gotta get that in the edge transit. Do what? Still 
That's what you said. What, uh, what heavy rain burn? Uh, grenade launcher. Solar. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, it might it might have been me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just all I did was run to the all, I ran to the edge. I didn't think I hit you, <laughs> but I turned around and nobody else was there. I'm like, oh, it must have been me. Oh, I did. I had to look around. Did I? Did I do that? I think they're gonna have to like buff the drop rate on the weapons. I mean, with with as much as Glad has been running this and not getting anything, it's. Oh, Clyde finally got his. 95 hours and Cloud finally got his job done. Man. So easy, man. Tier two is a walk in the park compared to tier three. Oh, he's right here on us still. Oh, thought he was dead for some reason. Oh, 
the blueberry die. <laughs> to, that guy literally spawned right next to you, Toby. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I didn't die at all. There's a triumph attached to that, right? That's an empty room. Oh, okay, okay. Where's my loot? Yeah, dude. Yeah, you put tier three or tier two? I put tier two. Yeah, you should go to the drop. You, just, you open this, this. The, the vaulting. Yeah. It didn't give me nothing. They just equal. I mean, yeah, they're full, but it, it didn't even pop up and say that. Uh. I think if it's full, it just. It won't let you pick up, sorry. I won't say you got it. Alright. Let, let, let me pop another one. Should get double drop. And then we'll just pick some gear up. Alright, just for now. I'm coming, I'm coming. Check my postmaster here. I'm gonna come drop my super here. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go, right there. Postmaster has um oh, Postmaster only has nine things in it. No, no, no. The, the one coming in Postmaster used one pick it up until you clear the space. Oh. Well, let me uh. Get rid of a few things then. Prime Ingram? Nice. No 
Yes, it is. I thought it was done too. I could have swore it said 100%. I think it's, it was just a bad thing. Everyone left the heat. Alright, pay closer attention. I'm gonna waste my super. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Got it back. Should raise some orbs. Uh, nah, just gave me the gloves. full on other stuff too so it could have been I was I mean I did get the pulse rifle though yeah I got the bug out of bag and then I got the pulse rifle too oh the curated pulse rifle yeah That went to my postmaster. <laughs> <laughs>
сегодня. Gamma suit pick. Do I? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Who, who did I revive on the floor? For me. Oh, I... I'll try to get you a dime. Oh, yeah, I just revived somebody and then I just jumped up. I think Toby was reviving him. I think Tofi had you. Blueberry took yeah. my orbs. Oh, I got the uh, I got the guitar error code earlier too when I put it up in Crucible. Finally got my orb generator in Crucible 2 done, so it means the only thing I got left to do is bounties next week. Oh, uh, yeah, I wasn't good for it until they changed it from the orbs. I think they're changing that after the season, right? Yeah, yeah, so you can still get I'm not even going to get for it. Grenade launched one of her orbs. Don't matter to me. 
I got three. I got three pieces of gear on that one. <laughs> See, I got one in my middle. Oh, that might have been it right there. Let's look here. So you're not gonna you're not gonna watch the reveal trailer for it. <laughs> I I yeah I saw some teasers for it just and the uh, I mean I didn't play the second one so I don't know if it, it changed from the first to the second one but the um just the menu items like it looks like much more of like it looks different to me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch. It's Wednesday, so I don't know how long it's gonna be. I'm not sure gonna watch it. <laughs> Big guy was down two up top here. And there we go. It's going to be very time dropping here because there's so many yellow bars. Waiting on everybody. Do, 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 do. Check. I don't even know if it's, is it the same blueberry we've been playing with, or yeah, yeah, S sticking in, sticking it out with us. I'll let him use his super. <laughs> yeah, just this once. Now it's mine. Said, don't revive him. Oh, no, we need to be here. Let's see if we can do it. Oh. I just got to stop from there. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, 
You got him, you got him. boss again here. Oh, and he gave me the chess piece again. I just got the chess piece. All right, let's see how much of this collections we have. We actually got quite a bit of stuff. I think we got our. Tier one. Oh no, I'm still missing the tier two. Well, all right. Well, let me do one more tier two, and hopefully, I get it. See if I can get it. Yeah, what are you missing for the gear? Oh, uh, missing my uh, bond for tier two. Alright, next area. 
Oh yeah, my grenade buff ran out now too. My grenade one did, yeah. <laughs> Keep collecting the orbs. So you should throw grenades. I keep messing that up. <laughs> well, I'll let him use the super again. <laughs> Finish all these guys off here. circle. Oh, I got the pulse rifle again. That's what it's giving me. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. Nope, oh, nope, it gave it to me. Yeah, it gave my invader number two. Oh. So. Oh, okay. That was good. It didn't pop up, but I guess it knows that it gave it to me, so. So, what kill did you miss? Or, oh, the class item? Yeah, I was missing the class item for uh, invader number two, so. Invader one and invader yeah. two are all done. Nice. That's the only one that's complete. Sentry number one is almost all done. Thank you. 
Yeah, I noticed if you if you don't get the gear, it just blacks it out. Like it doesn't even show you the option to get it anymore. I like how you can preview other characters what the game is. You couldn't even do it in D1. No. You can't do it you I don't think you can do it with exotics, right? Yeah. You can? Yeah, no no preview available. Yeah. I don't know why though. You should be able to like. Yeah, I don't know why exotics are. Looks like regular armor is gonna load up for me. Yeah. Maybe once we land. Yeah, I never understood why you can't look at your gear on your other characters. Like, I'm not trying to look at to see what it looks like on my warlock. <laughs> Show me what it looks like on the hunter. Postmaster's completely out of space. I wonder if I got <laughs> those pulse rifles. Mm, oh yeah, both of them are in here. Sweet. Yeah, I'm not paying. It just means back to the shop of I'm a warlock. Oh, okay. Maybe you can now. Sweet. The character that's weird. <laughs> it's like an empty character. No, it's a creature of the warlock. <laughs> <laughs> I think I already have. Maybe I don't. Masterwork stability. Are both masterwork stability? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the, uh, the DIM is amazing. <laughs> they just need to have it set up to where you can create um, wow. classes. My friend asked me now, just, can you join? Oh, why? <laughs> he wanted it earlier. <sighs> all right, let's open up all of these. Before we head out, see if we get any exotics. Oh, we got Aaron Swagger. I don't even know what these are. Oh, the getaway artist. Oh, okay. Looks like something from, uh, from Callus. Alright, let's put up some more here. And... The Lasonic weapon ornament. Two exotics. I 
There it is. Oh, more Prime Engrams. I really getting way too much 700 stuff. The only problem with getting everything 700 now is uh, I don't want to, I don't want to dismantle everything. <laughs> like I want to keep it, actually pay attention to the rolls, but we'll see. I do need to sit here one day. It'd probably take me like a good hour to go through everything, decide whether or not I'm going to keep it or not. But anyways, that's where we're going to end it for the night, guys. Tomorrow night. I think we're going to do Division. I think we're going to do the Division 2 tomorrow night. That's what I said the other day. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I told Hoos I was going to be a level 30 <laughs> by the time I got on tomorrow. So let's hope it's an early night at work and come home and, uh, and grind out for a little bit before we start up stream. Because I have not. I haven't played any, honestly, Division 2 since the last time we streamed it. But uh, hopefully we can get on tomorrow get some more stuff done hit 30 start getting our gear score up other than that thank you guys as always and i will see you all in the next one